Hello everyone, and welcome back to Old Mod 6, where we're back on the server, there's a few people on. Um, this is what we made in the last episode. It is scary, it is intimidating, but the most important thing ever, it works, okay? Um, this is an auto-enchant upgrader, leveler-upper, I, I don't know what it's meant to be called, but essentially, I can drop in like a, um, a level 1 enchanted book, and it will upgrade it to the max level, whether that's 10, whether that's 20, or in the case of efficiency, what we did in the last episode, and you can actually see on this big axe, 30. In fact, it might even go higher than 30. I, I just took it out when it happened to be at 30 to test it. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to see if that goes higher. Fortune, I could only get to go to 20. Won't go any higher than that. Not sure why. Um, this episode, there's a few things I want to mess around with. The first thing I want to do, though, is, as you can see, I've hooked up this guy to run with um, uh, fishing rods. I want to level up some fishing rod stuff. So... These are the three enchants I think we want. Luck of the Sea, which increases the chance of getting good loot. Um, Lua, which decreases the amount of time it takes for a fish to bite. This being max, I feel like I'm just going to be clicking right click, which sounds pretty cool. Um, and then Angler's Bounty provides a chance of catching extra items when fishing. That will probably be last because it sounds like a little bit of a bonus, you know what I mean? Like, um, this will give you really good loot. This will give you more of the good loot. I, I, I think that's how it works. So, I'm going to chuck in... I'll chuck in Luck of the Sea. I'll chuck in Luck of the Sea. We'll let Luck of the Sea do its thing. So this should start up. It should actually be relatively far. As you, oh my god. It's pretty much done already. It's possible we need to... You know what? We might actually need to lower the speed on this. This guy might need... Because, like, look. He's already been picked up before the book even got picked up. Okay. We, we seem to be fine for this specific situation, but... Yeah, that... It is... Oh, god. Okay. We just had an issue. I saw it. I swear it just dropped an extra fishing rod. Yeah, you can see there's a fishing rod there. And wait, wait, no. Okay. I don't know why that's the case. Well, what are you doing? Why are you getting... What? This guy is getting too much... Um, oh my... I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I think this has to go down though. I think I've got to make it even shorter of a time for this fishing rod. Because it's it's dropping so many fishing rods that it's just me... It's creating a mess. Um... I think we're sort of good now. What I'm going to do, though, is chuck in this fishing... I, listen, it worked perfectly for the pickaxe, I'll tell you that much. But the problem is we have to configure the times for each of these because they go at, like, different rates. I, I don't know. Oh, I, you can just see it did it again. It dropped another, um, another thing. What I could do is I could actually add a filter here. Hold on. This might be the smarter idea. If I grab a filter for um, Cyclic... By the way, there's, there's a few other things we're going to do. We're not just tuning this system for the whole episode, hopefully. Um, but I'm going to open this guy. Set him to be an ignore list. And I'm going to ignore fishing rod. Ignore pickaxe. And that should be good for now. And I should be able to chuck this in here. And now assuming the system isn't broken, which it is currently. But I should be able to fix it. Why is it getting more? Like, I don't... Hmm. I think we're good. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Are we good now? Why is it... Okay. See, why does it drop an extra... An extra fishing rod? That's part of the problem. But we might have just fixed the problem. Because that fishing rod can just sit there for all I care. It's probably not good for the server, but it can sit there. Why is it... This guy's now... He, he's getting too much time. But the problem is, I don't know how to reduce the amount of time he gets. See, that was apparently too long. So it's possible... I need to create an extra little delay there. Maybe. Maybe. Because as you can see, there's two two fishing rods on the ground at the moment. Okay. We're going to see. <laughs> We're going to see how it works. Okay. I, I, I'm going to witness one more with that little addition I made. With just making that repeater one extra tick. I want to see if that's all it took. Okay. So, it's going through there. Two fishing rods. It should show up in a second. One fishing rod. And. Ah. Blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't know why that happened. Actually, you know why that happened? Hold on. I know why that happened. It's taking the fishing rod from here and putting it into the precision dropper. That's the problem. Oh my god. Okay, all <laughs> hold on. All I need to do is edit this. And this is a blacklist for the fishing rod. I need to I need to actually hmm. Hmm. I need to just have this be anything. It doesn't need to be exact. This should now work. After this picks up this uh, enchanted book, give me a hot, give me a hot minute, okay? Give me a second. I'm gonna pick up these, and there shouldn't be any more ever dropped on the ground. 
I'm going to ignore it. It's fine. That'll level up. <laughs> okay, okay. Back to back to what we're doing this episode. There are some things you guys told me which sound incredible, and we're going to give it a shot. So first things first, right? Check out this. If I go to efficiency, we can grab our efficiency 30 book. That's pretty cool. Apparently what we can do as well is if I go to fortune and keep this book in here, I haven't taken it out, and I shift click on fortune, it applies it to the same book. Now it's possible that we can add, and someone said that Astral Sorcery's um, auto smelting uh, enchantment might work instead of uh, the auto smelt enchant. So if I go down to the S tier for Scorching Heat, and I left click on it, it applies it to the same book. Ladies and gentlemen, we might be about to witness something incredible. So I'm going to, you know what? What, what? Uh, Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take this off. So now this is a book with efficiency 30, fortune 20, and scorching heat, okay? I'm going to quickly craft a new flux bore because we have some here, but they've been enchanted before, so they might not work. So I'm just going to, we're going to make a fresh one. I should honestly, with the amount of times we use this flux bore thing, I should probably have it all automated, shouldn't I? <laughs> Who cares? Okay, flux bore. Here it is. We're going to open this. I'm going to place in the flux bore and I'm going to place in this insane book, okay? Oh, they're villains. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. It's just not allowed to work. Why is it not allowed to work? I mean, I know why it might not be allowed to work, but, but surely, surely it's allowed to work. Let's try it on just an anvil. Let's see. No, it doesn't apply the scorching heat. Very, very interesting. Even if I put like a stone pickaxe? No, it doesn't go on. <laughs> what about a fishing rod? No. Okay. It doesn't want to work, does it? Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fr frames? Frame? Frame? Okay. We're good. We're, we're almost not good though. I'm a little bit worried as to why we were so not good for a second there. Um, What I want to do though is try the same book again with this type of um anvil. So let's see. Uh, flux ball? No, it doesn't. Oh, maybe. No. No, it's not. It's not looking like it wants to. Okay. Yeah. Not sure. Not sure why it's so rude to me and doesn't want to be applied to it. Um, There's one more thing we can try. So I'm going to go ahead and you know what? I think I can just... Can I place it there? I'm going to apply auto smelt to it. It's just a little little bit of a bonus. Just a little bit of a... <laughs> just a little added bonus. Um, And we'll see if it will apply that. I have a feeling it won't work in this thing. Because it didn't work before. No, nope, not working. Beautiful. Uh, bring the flux ball with me. Um, It might show up on an anvil. Once again, maybe. If we're lucky. This and this. Nope, it won't. And last but not least, we'll try the, uh, the guy over here. See if he'll do anything with it. I... I have a feeling he won't. Possibly just because Scorching Heat's on there, but... No, nothing. Okay, well... Uh, I, unfortunate. Unfortunate. I thought that could work. I was I was honestly quite hopeful. Uh, but sadly, it doesn't look like it does. Um, yeah. Auto smelting. Really doesn't want to work, does it? Can I place... Wait, wait. Can I place a tool in there? No, okay. <laughs> that would have been a little bit, uh, a little bit OP. Um, uh, a, a few other things I want to do as well is, like, block reach. I want to... Uh, Enchant those, but honestly, I'll have to wait for it to enchant. Um, in terms of what was that? Was that look at all these different shimmer enchants? That is horrible. Um, in terms of duplicating our um, our structure we made, our auto enchanter, I tested one thing that I thought could work, and that was structure blocks from our Minecraft. I don't know if they'll even show in here. Um, but there's structure blocks that are a part of Minecraft. I can cheat one in because I mean, I, it doesn't really matter. Um, give do you stream structure block if it wants to work this guy here these blocks are incredibly cool they're part of vanilla minecraft they're actually just a vanilla thing what you do is you can place down uh two corners of these you have to also be in creative mode i guess um you place down two corners so you set it to corner mode you name them the identical thing you place another one in the other corner and then you go into the save section on a completely new structure block you type in the name of the corner so like enchant one for example you can click detect and it will detect the range you can include the entities, in it, and that one's pretty important and stuff. And what it will actually do, I did a test over there where that dirt's uh, healing, and it keeps in the exact same variable cards. Um, do not copy this by middle click. But yeah, it keeps the exact same variable cards. Um, the only thing it didn't keep, obviously, is uh, entangled blocks, because these are bound to um, locations, and it gets a bit messy. But um, yeah, everything else copied perfectly. Um, I think all I would have to do is re-entangle the, um, the entangled blocks. So that's an option. I believe I have that file, so I could send you guys that file on... Oh, it didn't work. 
Um, I could send you guys that file on um, Discord or something, and you'd be able to put it into your schematic file on um, your Minecraft world and paste it in. Um, yeah. The problem is that it's cheating it in, so you, it doesn't use up your blocks, so it's not really viable in that aspect. Um, but yeah, let's get back into the survival. Do I... So, so what's going on here? What What is the deal? Why is this guy still clearly accepting all these items? I've got you blacklisted. Do I need to... Yeah, you know what I need to do? I need to add one of these. Bam. A completely different fishing rod. And now, now it works perfectly. Trust me, trust me. Um, so yeah, what are we currently at, by the way? Let's let's have an update. We're already at luck of the C20. I swear this thing goes faster when you're not looking at it. That is incredible. Luck of the C20 already. I assume it's going to go higher. We're about to find out if it can breach 20. It can't. Oh, our timing is phenomenal. It can't breach 20, so we're done. This is it. Luck of the C20. Beautiful. I can go ahead and chuck that into the system, and that's perfect. Um, the next thing we can go ahead and do is... What do we want to do? And also, notice that there's no dropped one on the ground. Beautiful. Um, we'll wait for the server to catch up. Um, the next thing I want to do is lure. I want to be able to instantly get all of the books. You know what I mean? Like, uh, all of the uh, fishing, sorry. Um, so, we'll let that guy run. Um, and yeah, I, <laughs> this system is one of my proudest systems I've ever made because it does something that I think is pretty complicated and as you can see, it does such a good job of it. Sometimes there's issues, you know, like a few extra blocks dropped in the ground, but like in the grand scheme of things, for level 20 of an enchant, it, I mean, hey, who cares? Who cares? It's reliable enough that it's not an issue. Um, so we'll let that guy do his thing for a while. I'm not going to test out these fishing books, by the way, until they're done. Um... In terms of what else we can do in this episode, oh, there actually is something that I almost completely forgot about. Um, and that is, there are these guys, Ballows from Batania. Now, these guys apparently will make it so that um, mana is transferred faster into items and out of items, right? So I can make four of these. And apparently, if I get a Terra Shatterer, which I've just realized I don't have because it despawned or something, um, but if I make a Terra Shatterer, um, which honestly, not that hard to make. Let's uh, request some of these to be made. Let's actually, here, let's go living wood. Here, give me, br bring me a stack. Come on, br bring me a stack. Come on, I, I, I don't have all day. Uh, Terra Shatterer will need a mana tablet. Do I have one lying around? Sometimes I do, and it doesn't like automatically fill it in, but apparently this time I don't. Um, okay, craft one of those, craft one of these, craft that, craft that. Mana tablet, beautiful. Um, Terra Shatterer, we should hopefully have everything now. Nope, we need the twigs. One, two, what, one, two, one, two, yes, okay, beautiful, <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd need to cut there, it wasn't doing what it wanted to, okay, Terra Shatterer, beautiful, so, here's the deal, I'm gonna pick up both of these, um, if I want to, I could probably just, you know, move them over here, it doesn't really matter too much, just chuck some sparks on there, um, what I want to do is place bellows on, I thought it goes on the side of them, but as you can see, it's sort of not really... It's not really angling. Is oh no! Look, it's it's got a little it's got a little thing that attaches to it. Like look, uh, you've got to face it the right way. Apparently, I thought it would auto connect, but look, um, oh, it has that little bit. So these should apparently. Oh, do I have to right click them? Hmm. Bellow. Can these be? I imagine. That, listen, I imagine they could just be redstone, right? Let's go ahead and grab a clock. Oh, I wonder if this will work. Oh. Let's have delay be nothing. Let's have duration be like nothing as well. Let's do that. Oh, no, it's not working. Okay. <laughs> I, I really, I was pretty confident in that. Um, all right. Well, anyway, I'm going to drop the Terra Shatterer, which is level D. That will go in there. I'm going to push all these like once each or two times each. It's still level D. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, this entire time I've had the pool set to be mana tablet filling the pool. I need to have it as pool filling the mana tablet, or in this case, the Terra Shatterer. Oh, I feel so dumb. Okay, so this hasn't been going for long at all. I'm going to pick it up. It's already level C. Okay, we're going to chuck that in. Oh my god, how dumb can I get? Okay, what, are we, what level are we at? Um, system? Um, what? Uh oh what happened here? You, you are not, you are not outputting the fishing rod. So I need to add to this guy a fishing rod. And now you work. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> that, 
<laughs> See, I clearly had my um, fishing rod filters messed up over here with the wrong tags. Um, but all I did was grab the fishing rod that it wasn't cooperating with, the one it dropped, and add it into here just by shift clicking it. Um, so yeah, beautiful. All right, uh, I was going to check. What are we at? We're at Lewis, what, 6, 7. Nice. Okay. Um, all right, this guy, let's see what he's at now. He is now at B. He needs to get to A tier. Our previous one was only at A tier. That's what it was at. We didn't get it to S tier. We didn't get it to SS tier. So now we just need to wait. We just need to wait patiently. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's going well. Um, now, what else could we do? <laughs> what else can we do in this episode? I, I only, to be honest, I had... I don't really have much of a plan for this episode. I just wanted to mess around with some of these enchants. I think it's going to be fun to mess around with. And I also, if I get the Terra Shatterer unlocked um, to the max tier, that could also be pretty fun to mess around with. Um, but yeah, I think for the most part, I might look through here to see if there's a cool item I can check out. Um, but this episode is pretty much, it's on its way, you know? We've, we know what we need to do. All right, so this has been going for a little while. We'll, we'll check on the Terra Shatterer. It's, see, it's only at A tier. This, this tier takes so long to do. I can't even begin to imagine the tier between A and S. I've been sitting here for a little bit. Uh, not, not, cr probably not even like 10 minutes if we're being honest. But still, it's, you know, compared to the previous tiers, it's taking a while. Um, in terms of this, we are almost at level 20. We're, we're getting there. I didn't want to bookmark that. Um, but as you saw in my bookmarks, I found some pretty cool stuff. So first of all, check out this thing. Runic Signet of Alchemy. I love Cyclic. Cyclic is one of my favorite mods. And, and this is another reason why. This charm disables potion particles. Listen, I, you might have noticed that the particles here, there's not many. It's because I turned my particles down. I was like, I don't like the fact that constantly on my screen are these potion particles. And But look at how beautiful this looks with all the particles. So I, I, I was actually asking one of our, a mod dev I know that um, added um, some of these cool uh, features up here. I, I added him, I'm like, can you add a toggle for like potion particles? But I mean, in this pack specifically, Cyclic coming coming at us with this. Check out this runic signet of alchemy. Go ahead and right click it. Or do I right click it with? Oh my god! You right click on it in your inventory, and now it's on. And now I chuck it in as a charm. No, okay. I might need a charm belt because look, there's some belt slots here. I think I need a belt. I think I need some sort, not a tool belt, but a charm belt. Does Cyclic have one? Listen, cyclic, my homie. Come on, surely. Oh, charm talisman. Poison with a fire and void protection. Don't need that. Um, tortures your surroundings. Yep. Um, a conveyor belt. <laughs> no, no, not the conveyor belt. Immune to explosions. Where's cyclic's belt? Hold on. Does cyclic not have a belt? Cyclic, cyclic doesn't have a belt. How dare you, cyclic? The one thing. All right, anyway. Um, da -da 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 -da. belt. Um... Charm belt, belt, tool belt, no, belt pouch, no, that's for the tool belt, charm belt from, um, that holds mob charms, so that, I don't think that works, I'll bookmark it though, I'm pretty sure I have one, um, what's this, a belt of locks, a selfish belt, some stashes, a mundane belt, like, uh, there's lots of, the basic belt, maybe, will the basic belt hold belt stuff, <laughs> I don't know, um, and then there's a satchel, this goes in the belt. Um, okay. Well, first things first. Do I have a charm belt on? I thought I might have, but apparently I don't. Is it because the charm belt requires a a thing? Yeah, it requires some of these charms. And what do I have? Ah, a bunch of... I don't really care. Um, anyway, now we have a charm belt. Beautiful. Can this hold this charm? The answer is no. It can't. So it's uh, useless to me. <laughs> well, actually, it's not because... Check out this. We do have a charm, don't we? A sleep charm. Well, it's not a mob charm. So I don't think it'll actually work. Will it? I thought it might. No. Okay. Nice. The belt is useless. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, nice. Oh, it goes in the belt slot. Mmm, that makes sense. Okay. But as you can see, I no longer have potion particles on me. And yet, wait for it. Assuming the system didn't break. Oh, you know what? I think we've hit a limit. No? What is... We're out of books! Oh, I carumba. Um, okay, hold on. <laughs> For some reason, I turned into Bart Simpson. Uh, listen, I can't explain it. No one can explain it. Let's uh, entangle this guy. Let's um, slap him down here. Entangle him up. Let's get an exporter. 
Da -da 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 -da. Let's also grab a crafting doohickey. Yep, one of these. I couldn't find it for some reason. Slap this guy on, open him up. We're gonna go ahead and put books in here, like so. Give him a crafting upgrade, and that should take care of our book problem. Now, in terms of books, I think possibly we have everything except leather automated, but even then, I think we're getting leather from our Woot mob farm. So I think we do have leather automated, to be honest. But is this, is this gonna work? Crafting upgrade, book, items. Hmm? Any, any books in the chat? Any, okay, hold on. Let, let me double check that we can craft a book. We can, okay. So the issue isn't with that. The issue is with this guy just not, he's just not feeling like doing it. <laughs> Why is he not feeling like doing it? I, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> All right, let's, um, there's something we can try and do. Do we have books in, in any of these? We do. We have a thousand books set to be ordered. Part of the problem we have is the books are being placed into this guy and being enchanted. What are, oh, even then they're not. Hmm. Um, we, what I was going to say is we don't need books in there anymore, to be completely honest with you. Uh, in this guy, we don't need books anymore because we already have, um, we have a way to upgrade our enchants now. So we don't need infinite enchants. We already have the enchants. So yeah, I can stay off. Okay. I, I don't know if that'll help. Um, in the meantime, I guess I can... I can, you know, give it a little bit of a shove that it, that it oh so dearly needs. And there we go. We've got books being made again. <laughs> okay, hopefully hopefully that'll work. Our Terra Shatterer update. It's halfway there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're halfway there, as they say. Um, books. We have books. This guy's done his thing. We are at tier... We're almost there. Almost there. Okay. <laughs> We're almost there. Um, what else was I doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's also this guy. Corrupted Chorus Fruit. Grants the Curse of No Clip. Now... I want to try this out because I think that means I essentially would be in spectator mode and that sounds cool but what I will say is I'm worried because it says curse and I'm worried that it won't be removed from me you know what I mean like I think I'll be permanently no clipping should we just try it out anyway I think we you know what I've got friends in high up places who can probably remove the uh, enchant from me with commands or like some sort of feature so I'm just gonna we'll give it a shot Listen, I'll do it so you guys don't have to. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. We need a honey apple. Oh, huh. I mean, to be honest, shouldn't be that hard to do. Honey apple, nice. And then we make an iron apple out of the honey apple. What does the honey apple do? It's pretty tasty. It's actually really tasty. Oh, I'm thinking in some of the other series we have, like in the create series, I could set up honey apples. And like in, in a different series we do, early on in the game, we could set up a honey apple. Sorry, I just... <laughs> Listen, it's been going on for a long time. There we go. That thing can stay on. That thing, uh, th thank God I can turn it off. Man, this this feature, the muffler, amazing. Um, okay, iron apple crafted. <laughs> what does the iron apple do? Um, it's, you know, it's, it's actually not good at all. It's actually horrible. Look at what it does. It's useless. Ah, oh, you know what? Health boost three, resistance three. That's what it gives you. Um, okay, corrupted chorus fruit. Now you get four of these. Which makes me think that, no, no, you don't actually, um, get infinite of it. Okay. Eat this to face through walls for a few seconds. Does not include flight. We already have flight. You will fall into the void without extra items or abilities and you can get stuck inside a wall. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking though. Here is what I'm thinking. Um, if you remember, we had a doohickey called the potion, um, potion something. We had multiple potion somethings, not, not these potion things, but it was a, um, it was part of the pylon mod. It is the, where is it? The infusion pylon applies potion effects from an activated potion filter at any distance. Okay. I want to give this a try. So infusion, and I'm going to get a potion filter. We're going to go ahead and craft one of these. Now, what potions do I have? I currently have regen and resistance. Oh, because the potion needs to be, hmm, it needs to be for a, for an amount of time. Minimum effect duration, 60 seconds. And this only does it for a few seconds. Ah, what can we do to extend it? First of all, let's give it a try. As you can see, we now, oh, whoa, hold on, hold on. Hold on. My flight is gone. My my flight, my, can I, I thought I could turn on my jetpack or something. My flight doesn't work. 
I have no clip for about five more seconds, judging by the bottom left, but... Like... It's... It's like no... It was no clipping through my flight, which as you can see, works. Okay. You know what? I no longer feel like I want these to be permanent. <laughs> okay, well, now you know. Now you know. Um, so what I might do is I'm going to turn my fan back on. And I'm going to check out some of these other cool things. Because look, there's like attack speed, player luck, knockback and stuff. There's some really cool things here. Okay, so, um, off camera, the other thing, what was it? Lure. Lure finished, and I chucked in the other one, which I'm assuming, yep, it's done. This one can only go up to 10. Lure went up to 20. Um, this one provides a chance of catching extra things when fishing, so awesome. I'm going to go ahead and chuck that into our system. Uh, what I have with me now is Vitality, Block Reach, and Reach. Block Reach and Reach seems to do the same thing. Interacting with blocks is Reach, and Block Reach is Mining and Interacting, I guess. Um, and then Vitality is increase the maximum health and that sounds pretty cool especially sounds cool for like um blood magic so i want to see how that would work and if that was something we should have done um for all of these i think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do a like a chest piece so i'm gonna search um chest plate uh what should we do what don't we have here like what what, what do you reckon is the easiest one to do we could just like yeah, I might just dump all the gold and we'll do a gold one. Ah, uh, you know what? We only have one diamond. Ah, uh, but it's got a cool thing on it. <laughs> let, let me take out all these gold ones. Um, and then I'll... Oh, yeah. We Oh, look. We have a bunch of just empty ones. Awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to void all of these ones. They might be cool. They might have stuff on them. I I don't care. Um, <laughs> I'm also a little bit scared that I'm going to just like accidentally void something I actually want. So... I, I don't advise using trash cans, but I'm too lazy to set up something else instead. Um, I just need them out of my system, right? So I'm going to take out one of these gold armors. I am going to add it onto this. So gold armor is going to be added there. I'm going to go ahead and take out the fishing rod. I think I got it. Did I? No. Now I got it, right? No. Now, now I got it. Okay. Um, and then on all of these, I'm going to do the same thing. So this guy is going to be added the um, that thing. This guy is going to get that thing. Um, they're being added. It's just at the bottom of the list. And did that add there? And then I think I need to add it here. Okay. I'm assuming this will work. If it won't, damn. <laughs> but it should work. I'm going to also add a quick uh, pattern for it in our little uh, setup we have down here. So in this guy, bam. And I think we're good to go. I think all I need to do is add in the chest plate there so it can start being placed. And then add in, which one do we want to do? I want to do the, I want to test the vitality first. So I'm going to chuck that in there. Vitality can then... Oh, I have my magnet on. So let's turn magnet off. That should hopefully... It turns on and then it'll get picked up in a second. Yep. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. It has begun. <laughs> the system has already started. Um, I'll watch it once to happen. Just so that we know that it works. So that should get taken out. It should be put in here. Um, I think it worked. That's back there and we should get the item dropped. Beautiful. Hey. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold on, Buster. Oh, and I'm frozen. Oh, God. Listen, it happens once a video. Of course, it doesn't happen off camera when I'm sitting there for like, you know, 10, 20 minutes. Nope. It happens on camera. We freeze. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> I made a big mess. I enchanted a bunch of them. But now I've got the one I need. This, this chest plate right there. So, I'm going to add this chest plate to all of the lists that we have. And hopefully, that will take care of things. We should now, hopefully, not have the same issue we just had. Um, where's our enchanted? We've got one here. You don't need to be there. Um, do we have one anywhere? Or do I, I have it on me? Okay. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chuck it in here. Um, what is it? Yeah, vitality. And I'm going to chuck in the chest plate. Uh, you know what? I'm worried that I'm going to chuck in the wrong chest plate. So I'll tell you what. Instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to chuck in this chest plate in there. And I'm going to chuck in, um, actually, you know what? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to get a gold chest plate. Gold chest plate. I'm going to grab one of these ones. And I'm going to chuck it in there. Okay? That's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to chuck Vitality in there. It should be working now. <laughs> it should be working now. Let me get rid of all these other gold chest plates. You, 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 and you. Okay. We should be good. Are we good? I, I want to watch it once. Listen. Listen. We, we saw what happened just before. I just want to watch it once. That's going to be sent through the system. Vitality 5. We get a Vitality 6. They all go on their merry way. This comes back. That's dropped. No extra chest plate. 
What are you doing? Okay, hold on. Let me grab you. I'm gonna chuck um you in there. And now I'm gonna add this to the list. Whatever this one is. You're getting added. You add it to all of them. There you go. Not sure not sure why, but Are we good now? Hey you Why? Vitality can be sent there. What what is happening? Why does it keep doing this? Black, uh, whitelist on here. Like, look at all the... They're set to exact and add you here. These ones are set to exact. Is that the problem? That they're set to... You, you know what? Maybe I need to do... No, match exact. Yeah, that's good. I want you to match exact. You know what? No, just don't match exact. I think that's all I need to do. And have this guy also not match exact. I think that was the problem. That they were matching exact. Okay. Okay. I think we... <laughs> I think we're good. Have it, has it done it yet? Okay, we're about to see it. Fingers crossed. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Are you ready? Chest plate. Book. <gasps> Not a single other book. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Let me go and play with the fishing rod. Let me go and play with the fishing rod. <laughs> okay, okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fly up here. Open this guy up. First thing we're going to do is Angler's Bounty. We're going to get this guy here, level, level 10. Next thing we're going to do is go down to the owl section. This will have like, um, the, all the other stuff. So lure, 20, beautiful. And luck of the sea, 20, beautiful. Okay. I mean, sounds good to me. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. There it is. Wonderful. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is obviously grab a fishing rod. We actually have one on us. Fishing rod will go in. Insane enchantment will go in. And of course it does not work. <laughs> Why? Really? Okay. You know what? Let's go to the enchantment, or just the anvil, and we'll see what it's going to let us do. Why is it not working? What? And it works perfectly here. Okay, yeah. There we go. It's going to drop on the ground. I See, I knew it would happen. Um, where is it? There it is. Okay. This is our ultimate fishing rod, ladies and gentlemen. Um, these things I'm just going to destroy. Angler's Bounty 10, so extra loot. Lured 20, instant loot, luck of the C20, good loot. Let's have a look. I chuck it in. It should instantly get nibbled. <laughs> it looked like it was. I got a little... Oh, no. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Did you see... <laughs> that, was, that was the most I've ever seen drop from a fishing rod. Instantly it comes. You know what? The whole good loot thing hasn't really happened yet, has it? We haven't really gotten the good loot. We've just gotten loot. Okay. Let's let's see. <laughs> this is an insane amount of fish. I mean, you, you know what? Is it possible? Um, fishing, fishing rod. Is it possible that we should be using a better fishing rod? Um, enchanted, a Neptunium fishing rod. Fish are more likely to bite. Now, are they? Diamond fishing rod, golden. I think these are, but they're they're agricultural ones. Um, hmm. Shall we give it a shot? Well, I I think we should. Yeah, I think we should. Um, I'm gonna make some more though. That's what I'm gonna do. Angler's bounty, and we'll do all this stuff. All right. So I've got a few of these. Um, first things first. Can we make this thing? We would need Neptunium, which I don't know how we get. It looks like we get it from from smelting up the boots and stuff. What? Um, the nuggets? No. I might have to look up how to get these. Someone mentioned making a suit of armor of these. Um, but clearly, I don't know how to do it. Um, do you find the tools, maybe? Neptunian shovel becomes indestructible. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Um, give me some pointers on how to get my hands on those. Um, in the meantime, we can make a diamond fishing rod. And is there any other fishing rod? I don't think we want that one. Uh, um, presages unlucky fishing. I don't, don't know what that means. Um, a tome of the fishes accepts fishing pole in enchantments. Okay. Um, oh, uh, oh, you can make a silent gear fishing rod. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Interesting. The other thing is we can make a fishing net. This is going to need cobwebs, which apparently we can make using our generalized overworld predictions. Of course. Um, and we need trap chests. Well, I think we just need chests. I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's just chests we need, but maybe it's trap chests. You know what? Trap chests might make sense. Yeah. You know what? Trap chests do make sense. Um, this 
and a tripwire hook, which we don't have much of, but we don't need too many of them. We just need four. Um, search, well, actually, I've got a bookmarked. Bam, fishing net. This will use a fishing rod, so maybe it'll work. In the meantime, our fishing rod will be enchanted with awesome stuff. This is a diamond one from Agricultural. Agri agriculture, sorry. Agriculture 2. I'm going to put all these fish away. <laughs> all these fish we got. I'm going to sort the inventory. And let's see. Fishing rod goes in. Whoa. It's taken a while. Even with all these enchants. Okay. We must get something amazing then. Let's see. We got Neptune's... Oh my god, we found out how to get... I bet you the Neptunium stuff is in there. Okay. We got um, then just some fish from agriculture. Beautiful. What does this thing do? Bam. Oh, bam. Oh, we got the fishing rod. Instantly. <laughs> and a message in a bottle. Um, I just it broke something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Beautiful. I mean, what are the chances? I'm lucky I record this stuff because that is amazing. We got this awesome fishing rod instantly. Uh, can it be used in anything? Um, I'm pretty sure it can be probably melted down into the ingots, but obviously we want to enchant it. Beautiful. Let's see what enchantments a fishing rod can have. Angler's Bounty, Luck of the Sea, and Lure. Those are the main ones. Um, so let's go ahead and put on our enchant. Beautiful. Now this one, apparently they're going to bite it more often, even though we already have um, Lure 20. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining. Let's sort it again so we can see exactly what new stuff we get. Here comes the fish from miles away. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Bam. Okay, okay, what did we get? We got... We didn't get that. We got the bow. I guess it didn't sort it properly. Um, we've got a bow with true shot and no ammo. Bunch of fish. Um, and another bounty and an aim tag. Okay. So here's our bounty. We got a pickaxe this time. Usable without speed penalty underwater. Awesome. And another message in a bottle, which we can either break. Is it used in anything? Nope. Let's break it. Um... The Tuniverse is truly an incredible place. <laughs> okay, Sh sure. Um, so there's our pickaxe. We could obviously melt it down, or we could enchant it. Um, if we melted it down, what could we make? We could make just, just tools. You know, what do these guys do? Improves your underwater vision. That could be cool. Increases the amount of fillets you get. Uh, uh, sure. Um, makes arrows go smoothly underwater. Neptunium block. The axe increased damage to enemies. Um... Tilled farmland will stay moist. That's really cool. Um, what else? Usable without speed penalty. The boots or, or the legs, I guess, makes you weightless underwater. Oh. That's it. I might want to try that out. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, the boots increase your swim speed, increase damage, and allows you to breathe underwater. And is there one last one? The water vision. Where are the boots? Did I go past them? No. No, swim speed. Okay, yeah. We, we saw everything. Okay, beautiful. I mean... I'm, I guess we'll fish for a little bit longer, but I have a feeling we're just going to be getting the same stuff. Like, I can't really see much else, considering we haven't really gotten much else. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, I've done it twice. But, um, okay, what did we get that time? That time we got a fishing rod, the, the Soulbound. Beautiful. It's going to come with us on, on death. Um, a saddle, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see. Fishing net. All right. I'm going to slap this guy in. There it is. I'm going to place in the Neptunium fishing rod. Set it to always on. What does this mean? Oh my god. I think you can see what it means. It is not friendly for service. I'm going to press L to turn on my magnet. And you can see what we're going to get. It just, it just fishes and drops them on the ground. Now, so far, we haven't gotten, you know, the bounty. Which makes me think that maybe it's not a thing. From this, like maybe this thing doesn't drop that cool stuff. Um, we're getting a lot of fish, a lot of different types of fish. So I guess if you ever wanted to open a fish shop, this is what you should do. Um, but no really cool Neptunium loot, believe it or not. Um, let's search fish again. We're, we're, okay, there's fish. Oh, you can mount fish on the walls. That's awesome. Okay, hold on. English, <laughs> it's picking up pace. Um, I'm trying to see. There's a marine fisher. We could try that guy out. See what he does. An aquatic entangler? Mm -hmm. um, I was trying to see if there's like a fisher. There's a fisher's hut. I don't know if that would work. Um, what is this? Dazes hit with a fishtail. Um, okay. I mean, we can try them out. This thing. 
Let's go ahead and auto craft the stuff because apparently we can. Let's see if we can quickly paste it in. There we go. Aquatic Entangler. Here it is. I'm going to slap it down. What do you do? I can put in a fishing rod. No, I can't. Hold on. No, I can't. Um, captures assorted aquatic life. Use bait to boost production and adjust what is caught. Must be placed in a body of water. Hang up your fishing rod. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Look at the amount of fish we're getting. Okay. So this guy, I mean, he's, he's not getting us cool stuff. That's pretty, that's pretty obvious at this point. He's just getting us fish. Um, let's try out the marine fisher. Let's go ahead and auto craft all this stuff. Go ahead and paste in what we can. We're going to have to wait for this last middle piece. Um, what's it called? Simple machine thing. It's probably already crafted. Nope. We gotta wait. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Mid sentence. Um, Marine Fisher. Slap this guy down. He doesn't appear to be taking a fishing rod. Ah, uh, well, actually. Hmm. You know what we could do? Um, let's give it a shot. We might as well. I was gonna look, read it up, but we might as well just give it a give it a try. See what it does. Let's maybe just search um industrial. Grab some speed upgrades. Chuck him in. See what he gets. See what he gets done. There we go. All right. What are you doing? Show working area. Ah, right there. That's, nope. This whole area underneath is the working area. Okay. Let's make a little, a little area for him, I guess. So that he can fish. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Better get fishing. I mean, so far I've only gotten the raw cod. Is this, is this it working? <laughs> uh, it doesn't, it doesn't really look like it's doing much now, does it? No, it doesn't really, I don't really know what it's doing, but it's not, it's not really, not really getting fish, is it? Um, let me put in two different fishing rods. Any of these going to do anything? The answer is no. Okay. Well, I mean, sure. Beautiful. Um, yep. Another fish. So it just passively gets fish, I guess. Or this guy's getting fish passively. I don't know. I can't tell. Um, okay. Well, anyway, that's the fishing rods done. I'm happy with them. I've seen all I need to see. <laughs> Let's now go back and, uh, check on some of this other stuff. So... Da, 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 da. If if we want it, are we allowed to? Can I? Yep. Okay. Um, surely vitality's done. I would imagine. Um, yep. Level ten is apparently the max. Um, next thing we're gonna try is I want to try out. We'll try out. Uh, we'll try out. Uh, we'll try out block reach. Uh, with my magnet off, preferably. So we'll drop that back down, and hopefully that'll start up. Yep. And then hopefully this will pick it up in a second. Yep. It's been picked up. Okay. Nice. That'll start happening. In the meantime, let's go and chuck um, Vitality on something. So I'm going to put Vitality um, in the system so that I can grab a new one out. It maxes out at level 10, which isn't crazy. So I don't think we're going to get a crazy amount of hearts. In fact, we'll probably just get, you know, um, 10, believe it or not. Um, one thing I think I can do, it might be possible to enchant the Mecha Suit Armor. Even though it's not meant to be able to, it might be possible. Ah, uh, you know what? It actually does have a list of stuff that apparently you can get. Um, I'm going to give it a try. Mecha suit body armor. Vitality. So far, no. Let's try um, Let's try everything. We might as well. Let's try out the um, the anvil. Are you going to accept vitality? Nope. All right. Let's try the pedestals. Pedestals, you know, sometimes they pull enchantments out of out of nowhere. So we'll give it a shot. That and mecha suit. <laughs> sure enough, we have vitality. Okay. Currently, we have... The normal 10 hearts, we then have 20 hearts because there's hearts on top, and we have 21. I'm going to put this on. What's going to happen? Okay. Hearts are going up. So far, so good. I'm liking what I see. Let's see. Can we get, like, um, regen? We can get um, we can get a charm of regen, which I think I actually might have on me, to be honest. Um, although it doesn't look like it's doing anything. I, yeah, I do have a charm of... No, I have charm of resistance. Okay. Okay. We're, once again, it's it's getting there. We're about to be at 30 hearts in about a second. All right, that's... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, half a heart left. Or is that it? No, it's still draining hunger, I think. Is it... What? Okay, 30 hearts. My backpack's about to eat for me in a second. Yep. Okay, 31. Oh, hey. The... That's a decent amount of hearts. I mean, what, what can we say? I mean, what I'm going to do... Oh, do you reckon we could put it on like legs as well and get even higher? Oh, I feel like we might be able to. I definitely feel like we might be able to. I'm going to grab this. Um, I, you know what? I'll grab a few of them. We'll grab enough for each piece of armor. <laughs> we are about to reach 40 hearts, ladies and gentlemen. I might actually, you know what? Let me order the charm of regen. 
if it will let me. It should let me. I don't know why currently it's not letting me, but it should let me. There we go. I'm going to order it. Charm of um, regen, please. There you go now. Might have to wait a little bit for the uh, potions to be made. I imagine that's what we're waiting on. How many hearts? We're at, what? We're at 41 hearts. I didn't even know they got blue. Sure. W wonderful. Let's... What's happening here? Can I order some more potions? Please. Please. I don't ask for much. Just a, just a few potions. A few wee little potions. It looks like uh, 41. Is that what we're at? 41 is the max? Maybe? Like, like at the moment. Um, from uh, whatever we're doing. Um, what I want to do though is a regen charm. And I want to turn this guy on. So now you can see I have regen 2. Permanently. <laughs> I am now also going to enchant all of our mecha suit armor with vitality. So let's go ahead and grab all these out. Let's go ahead and chuck on vitality. Let's go ahead and chuck in the pants. Might need some experience. The answer was yes. It did need some experience. Let's first see if this works. I'm going to put the pants on. Do the hearts go up? No. It doesn't look like they do. Um, does that mean I'm not going to do it for the rest of them? No. No, it doesn't. I'm going to chuck them on. I wonder, can I do like... Two vitality books, and then chuck on um, the boots. Does that put them both on? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna take that off, and then yeah, then it works. Okay. Um, well, anyway, it doesn't look like it's working. No, it's not working. But yeah, I mean, we might as well. Why not? There we go. And beautiful. We now have vitality ten on all of our pieces, and we only did it on one. So I don't know what that tells you. Um, good to know, though. Good to know. Let's fly over here. What are we looking at in the reach department? Oh, not done yet. Very interesting. What number are we at? Oh, we're going up to 20 at least. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to let this run. I am going to turn my fan back on and I'll be back. That This will be the last thing we try. I don't know. I might try reach. I might chuck it in there just to let it happen. But yeah, I, I don't know what level it will go to. Beautiful. We're already at uh, 12. Incredible. Okay, I will be back. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, I, I've left the thing running for quite a while. I was, I was honestly waiting for it to get to level 20. Then I was waiting for it to get to level 30, and I, I have some news. G give it a hot, hot second to show up again, but um, it can go beyond level 30. <laughs> so this is the reach. We currently, um, we have to go test out block reach, which only went up to, I think, possibly 10 or 20. This one goes up to 40 at least, I I'm guessing, which is incredible. Um, but anyway... Let, let's check out block reach. So block reach goes up to level 20. Sure. Beautiful. Um, what I might try for these ones are just like, um, I don't know what they're going by the way. Will it show what it goes on? No, it's currently not telling me what it goes on. Um, but I'm thinking, what if we just get some diamond helmets? So I just craft two of these bad boys. We get two of them and we use these to do our tests, right? Grab two of those and let's have a look. I'm going to chuck it in here. I'm going to apply block reach 10 and it's not going to go on it. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, block reach. Let's have a look. Um, does it say what it goes on? Okay. It looks like it goes on chess pieces. And is that it? Yeah, okay. It, it only goes on chess pieces. Beautiful. That um, that saves some confusion there. So I guess we'll get two of those. Sure. Why not? Put those helmets away. Um, two chess pieces. Beautiful. Let's give this a shot. Block reached 20. It's applying. That's always a good sign. Okay, so here it is, block reach 20. Currently, I have block reach in the form of um, this guy here, ring of far reach, 3.5 reach distance it adds. Um, I think that's everything in terms of um, reach perks, I, I think. Um, I obviously don't have any on, on my armor. So, I'm going to switch this over. And do I feel do I feel extra extra reach? Well, let's see. Can I open that? No. Can I open these? Okay, I can. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm... Um, you can do it from... Wait for it. From here. <laughs> look at it. Look at how far away that is. Oh my god. I can open these too. I think they're just lagging a little bit. Although, to be honest, it's probably really confused. I, I wonder how this affects, like, the server and, like, the connection and stuff. Because it's probably like, what are you doing? You're not meant to be able to reach that far. <laughs> that is insanity. You can see it actually, it highlights the blocks if I'm close enough. Yeah, it still highlights them. 
Oh my god! Okay, wait, wait. Can I break them as well? That's not right. That is... That is not right. What? That is ins... Now listen. This is block range 20. The other one is going to 40. What? Like, I could just... I could be anywhere and I could, I could just be like, Oh, I really want to interact with that. Why not? Oh, you want to teleport? Actually, how close do I have to be to, for this guy? Okay, you know what? That's all. Look, the waystone, it doesn't agree. It's like, no. Too far. Too far. Not acceptable. Not acceptable. Too far. Too far. Still too far. There we go. Okay. So some blocks have a radius that they don't open, but um, it's not many blocks <laughs> from what I can see. That is, that is insanity. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go ahead and see, are we at 40? And are we beyond 40? And if it goes beyond 40, at what point do we call it quits? I'm gonna let it get to 40. And we'll stop it at 40, okay? We're gonna... We'll stop it at 40. You know what? We'll stop it at 41 just to see if it's possible. <laughs> okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between and on either side, listen, listen. You're about to witness something that it's possible you've never seen before because I have never seen it before in my life. Look at this. XL. XL! It got to 40, and instead of being... Instead of being four Xs, it changed to an L. The question is... What happens when the uh, chess, play, chess piece comes in here? W what do we think is going to happen? I is it going to... If it starts, is, what's it going to say? Is it going to say XL1 or, you know, XLI? What's it going to do? W what's it even going to do? No one knows. No one knows. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. This thing's taking its time. It's chugging away. It's taking... It must take so much mana to do this because, look, previously, instant. <laughs> like, very, very quick. Now it's just... It's chugging. It's it's definitely chugging. That is, if we didn't have infinite mana, we probably wouldn't be able to do this, to be honest. I also, you might notice, and put a bunch more in here just to get this to actually happen. That is in XL. It, I'm, I've never seen it before. XL, look at that. That is phenomenal. So that is level 40. Okay, you heard the noise. In comes the chess piece. There's, there's no way. What is it going to say? Let's see. It says XLI. It says... <laughs> it says XLI. What? Okay, we need... Listen, we need to stop. We need to stop. This could go on forever. I need to try it. Holy... XLI. Reach XLI. Holy moly. Okay. Okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to go and put this in the system. I hope that it works in the system. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Bam. It's gone in. Let's go down to R. XLI, you can withdraw it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Ladies and gentlemen, diamond chess piece, reach XLI. <laughs> what does it mean? Reach XLI, there we go. We're going to take off our block reach 20, and we're going to put on block reach XLI. Okay, first things first, what do we try? Do I look over there and try to interact? Okay, you know what? Okay, if I could interact with that, <laughs> I'd be I'd be happy, but I'm... Oh my god, there's no way that it's about to open up on my screen. It's trying to, but that's one of those blocks that doesn't let you. No way. <gasps> that! All the way over there! What? How far away can I go this time? The fact that this isn't even max level. This... This isn't even max level! You ready? Wait. Where, where, where were we? Where were we? Oh my god. Look at how far away we are. Th that's me zooming in. Like, look. What? We can interact with it. From this far. What? 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 Do you know what annoys me? This is something that I would want everyone to see. You know what I mean? But how do I title? This video, and how do I thumbnail this video to say, like, insane block reach? Everyone knows there's insane block reach. Do I calculate the blocks? But then no one's, like, searching for, like, you know, 42.3 block distance. Like, what, what do I, like, there's, okay. So I can't interact with that. I'm surprised. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is one of those ones that doesn't open because I'm too far away. Okay, good to know. 
Are their machines the same? As in, um, this guy over here. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so they are. You can see it's trying to open, but it can't. Okay. Um, what do we have over the... Th this is incredible. I'm... I'm stunned. <laughs> I'm stunned by the sheer... The range of this is phenomenal. I can go up here. No, what, what's something I can interact with? That guy over there. Oh my... Okay, so this one doesn't open as well. Psy doesn't open. Draconic doesn't open. That's what we know, at least so far. But this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. What about these guys over there? How close do I have to get? Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> okay, cyclic doesn't seem to open. All right, what about um, industrial? Industrial four going opens. <laughs> oh, that is insanity. By the way, I'm pretty confident that... um, Yeah. You can break blocks. What? What? That is insane. That, okay. Okay. I'm going to apply this onto my, uh, my chest piece. <laughs> onto my mecha suit because that is insane. I can't see why I wouldn't want... The, the only reason I would say I wouldn't want this is the issue of like when you're too far away from like a waystone. You know what I mean? Like having this stuff open up and flash. That's annoying. But even if you're out of range, it, it's the same thing. You just need to get closer until it opens. Because it automatically closes um, if you're out of range. It's not like I have to close it manually or anything. So you just have to... It's the same as before for some of these. You just have to get close. But for other things, you know, it's it's amazing. <laughs> it's phenomenally amazing. Okay. 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 So you are block... Re <laughs> your reach XLI. Why? Why is that a thing? Okay. And then Mecha Suit. Vitality. It has Vitality on it. I still want Vitality. How, how am I going to do this? Let me go... Uh, you know what? I better not have used up, like, the repair cost on this. Let me... <laughs> let's see. Anyway, I'll remove that. Should I add... Yeah, look, that actually took away my vitality. So, the vitality that's on my, um, like, legs and stuff doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. Only the chest plate actually works. So, I'm going to chuck this guy in and add vitality as well. Max level vitality. And I'm just, I'm just going to add it on. Uh, I'm pretty sure... How do we have to do this? We put it on the pedestal. I do remember that much. Okay. Um, so here we go. Here we go. Chuck you in. Give you some experience. Oh, no. The repair cost on this guy is too much. So it doesn't work. It won't get put on. Uh-oh. What do we do? Do I make a new mecha suit real quick? <laughs> do we have them auto-crafted? No. How difficult are they to make? I need one of you. That can be crafted. I'm going to require, um, oh my god. I'm going to require all the modium to then be turned into, uh, vibranium. To then be turned into, um, oh, unobtainium. S simple stuff, easy peasy. And then we're also going to need a basic induction cell. Let's go ahead and grab one of these bad boys. Bam. No, nope. okay. <laughs> Apparently we do have to wait. Okay, basic induction cell, easy peasy. Mecha suit body armor, we've got that now. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and chuck it in here, and then Vitality... Oh, 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 what? hello? Oh, I don't want to make... Okay, no, sorry. I've got to put the Vitality and Reach on first, and then we'll chuck in our Mecha Suit. And still didn't work. Okay, hold on. So the Mecha Suit might not accept Reach. No. No, no, no. That No, that's not good. Hold on, hold on. Reach. Reach. Where's Reach? Here's Reach. It's from the right mod. Um, I, uh, yeah. In sorcellation. Okay. So reach, it doesn't say what it goes on. Okay. Here we, here we go. No, it still doesn't say. Reach. Oh, anvil. Anvil. Here we go. So it goes on chest place, chest pieces, obviously. Um, well, here's the thing. It won't say that it goes on a mecha suit because, oh, well, it might. Hmm. Let me know if you see mecha suit here. Am I going to have to run around with like a... <laughs> <laughs> with a diamond chest piece on and the rest mecha suit. No, that's not worth it. Unless we get like protection to like protection 50. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't appear to be here unless I'm missing it. Oh, that is horrible. I wanted to add it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I might need you guys to uh help me out here. You guys have to tell me how how can I do it? How is it possible? How do I possibly add reach to the mecha suit uh chest body armor thingy majiggy as you can see it's not on here but to be fair neither is what's the thing that we've got the other block reach can go on it 
<sighs> block reach. And what's the other one we just put on? I, I, um, why can't I think? Vitality. I don't see vitality on this list, yet it went on the chest piece. I'm going to, you know what? I'll try just reach. We'll try just reach without, um, without the other thing on it. Where's reach? Here's reach. XL, XL I. I'm going to try, we'll, we'll see if this works. If not, damn. <laughs> Pretty much just damn. Um, okay. Just reach. Mechizu. Nah, doesn't work. Does not work. Unless it, it's possible that this guy needs bigger capacity, which we couldn't get working, but we might be able to get it working. I might might have some tricks up my sleeve for a future video, but um, yeah, okay. So I can either choose between invincibility, which I, you know, you don't always need invincibility. And then when I don't need invincibility, I just chuck on this bad boy and you know, oh, oh there's a thing to interact with. Yeah, oh, I'll interact with it. Oh, chest. Oh, vanilla stuff doesn't open. Very odd. This guy has a pretty good range. You get to here and he stops working, but you can open him from here. Ah, interesting. Okay, honestly, I think that's it. I, I think we've, we've done our time. We're, we've done all that's expected. What I will say is I might go and chuck this guy in and I might possibly leave him in there, okay? It's a possibility that he will just sit here until we get the good stuff. Um, so, I'm gonna chuck this here. Um, an important... Uh, what, what do I have to do here? Because uh, what I'll probably do is set up a bunch of um, expulsion pylons to make sure no one can get in here because I imagine they'd be able to like try and steal my book if they timed it right or something. And people people tend to do that. But to be fair though, if I found someone with it, with the enchant, I'd just ban them. You know, I'd just... Ban Who else has one of these set up? If they have one, if they could prove that they have one set up, sure. Because why, why would they steal it at that point? They can already make them. But you know, anyone else, just ban them. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Um, so, did that not work, by the way? What? Or is it already... Oh, wait. Wait. No. Oh, <gasps> that's the limit. There's no way we found the limit. Really? No. Really? Okay. That's, it appears to be the limit. What? I don't believe it. I, be I want to try it on my one, back at the base, with the tank on top. I don't believe that. I, uh, I don't believe it. Why would it, why would it limit out here? Why is this when it would reach its limit? It's reached its limit. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider subscribing to my channel. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, I've seen you guys have been subscribing though, so um, I'm sorry to be annoying you guys with that, but um, for those of you who are subscribed, thank you, thank you a lot. Thank you very much. Um, thank you as well to everyone who's supported me financially, whether it's you sitting at home watching the ads. Thank you guys so much. Um, the ads, that they add up. Listen, you think you're just watching an ad and it means nothing, but... Listen, they, they add up. Once, once again, we're, we're not at the point yet where I'm driving around in Lambos, okay? <laughs> once we're at that point, you know, then maybe you can skip a few ads here and there, okay? But until until I've got the Lambo, okay? Thank you. Thank you for watching the ads. <laughs> um, and thank you to everyone else who supported me financially um, through donation links or becoming channel membership members. Thank you guys so much. Um, that stuff, obviously, is like overkill. You know what I mean? Like, um, But it's very, very, um, very much appreciated. So thank you guys so much. Thank you to Gelzio2. Um, am I pronouncing that right? Galaxy? Galaxy. Galaxy? <laughs> anyway, thank you, Gelzio2. Um, Caden, Oracle, Skeletal Jacob, Oasis, Derby Snow Luna, Mugs, V Rifty, and to Coolest, all of who have supported me um, through donation links and channel memberships. And then thank you again to uh, V Rifty, Mugs, and Caden, who are channel members on top of our uh, donators. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for that. Um, thank you to everyone else who's donated um, and possibly went unnamed, whether they intentionally went anonymous or, or didn't. Um, I, once again, I think there was someone called <laughs> Meep Meep in Discord. So thank you, Meep Meep. Thank you. V very much appreciated. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.